today's actually my birthday, and I have eight of my very close friends coming over, and we're gonna have a ladies brunch until Chef Yvonne gets here. I really don't know what I'm doing. All right, so right now what I'm doing is I'm doing what Yvonne, the chef, called a rough chop. Be careful with your fingers because they can get chopped off, so you gotta kinda do this. We're making a pesto sauce. Pesto! <laughs> One of my favorite sauces, actually. Some basil trying to get into my pine nuts. Yvonne's actually getting ready, so she's gonna join me in just a little bit. So she kind of gave me little instructions. So here we are, we're back, and I have the pro with me, Chef Yvonne. <laughs> so she's gonna show me how it's really done, so. Yes. So first we'll do our veggies, then we'll go to the eggs for the Italian toast, and then we'll go to the prosciutto, and then we'll go to the salmon, okay? Mommy question, yes. okay? Uh -huh. When you're done with this, what do you do with the excess? I keep it. I use it every day. Okay, but where do you store it to keep it fresh? Well, I keep it on my stove. Some people don't have the room on their stove, okay. but you can leave it on your countertop as long as your house isn't super humid, because okay. otherwise it'll just clump up. We'll add a little bit of black pepper, okay, just for some seasoning. So now we're gonna put this in the fridge, and we'll start on prepping the grilled cheese sandwiches. I love the bread when it first comes out. You can smell it, it's fresh. That is the serrated knife. I want to try one. Okay. That took way longer than hers. <laughs> to save time on our preparation, we are going to bake the grilled cheese at a high temperature so that the bread gets crusty. We will put a separate baking dish on top so it flattens and browns at the same time. So these are the diced tomatoes for the tomato bisque. We're gonna add some thyme. You're gonna strip it. Strip it, Get girl. It. Strip it. <laughs> and what did we find at the grocery store yesterday? A brand new cheese. Well, new to us anyway. Taste it. Ooh. Oh, it's really good. Really good? Fruity, right? Kind of fruity? Well, it should be creamy, a little bit salty. Wow, it's really good. It's ridiculously delicious. I'm also going to do is put some fig spread on the bread. So it'll be sweet, it'll go really well with the tomato bisque. It'll just be really delicious. I don't know what the protocol is about putting your fingers in the food. We want it to boil, we want the carrots and the celery to soften so that it's easy to puree. Now let's check on our our gourmet mommy. So we're gonna just stick this in the fridge until we're ready, which will be about 15 minutes before arrival. We're making our batter for our Italian toast. Oh, one-handed. Can I try it? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Get your fingers. And they're clean. Okay. Now, typical French toast, you would be seasoning this with vanilla, cinnamon, whatever your heart desires. But we're gonna use our thyme again, and we're gonna slice our bread, and then we're gonna hit the stove. You always wanna put on the stove or put in the oven the thing that's gonna take the longest, and that can sit by itself. So our soup, that can sit there all day and cook itself down, and it'll still be amazing. Yeah. So we went ahead, because the party's getting ready to start. Actually, one of our first guests already called. They're, all, they're like minutes away. So we had to get dressed in our outfits and we're doing the final touches. These are small fillets of salmon. We got the salmon crusted. It's gonna go back into the fridge. We're done. We're done. So we're ready for the guests to arrive. They have their cheese plate to soothe them until uh, everything's cooked and ready to go. All right, well, I'm Sally Petrie. I'm Yvonne Kananis and we're, we're not ready, ready to eat. eat. Yeah. <laughs>